Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Remus in eternum sanctissimum sacramentum Thou date dominum omnes gentes, laudate eum omnes populi, quoniam confirmata est super nos misericordia eius, et veritas domini man in eternum. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritu Tui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alle Deimus. In eternum sanctissimus sacramentum.
the entrance antiphon. O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Saviour. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. A very good morning to everybody, and good morning to anyone who's watching at home. This Mass is being offered for, uh, for the sick and the dying, for all those on our sick list, parish sick list, anybody else that we know, and uh, pray especially for uh, Kenneth Baker, Sue Baker's father, who is uh, dying at this time at a hospice in, in Norwich. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We say together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear, hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of the Kings. This is what happened when the Lord took Elijah up to heaven in the whirlwind. <coughs> Elijah and Elisha set out from Gilgal. Elijah said, Elisha, please stay here. The Lord is only sending me to the Jordan. But he replied, as the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you and they went on together. Fifty of the Brotherhood of Prophets followed them, halting some distance away as the two of them stood beside the Jordan. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up, and struck the water, and the water divided to left and right, and the two of them crossed over dry shod. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Make your request. What can I do for you before I am taken from you? Elisha answered, Let me inherit a double share of your spirit. Your request is a difficult one, Elijah said. If you see me while I am being taken from you, it shall be as you ask. If not, it will not be so. Now as they walked on, talking as they went, a chariot of fire appeared and horses of fire coming between the two of them, and Elijah went up to heaven in the whirlwind. Elisha saw it and shouted, My father, my father, chariot of Israel and its chargers. Then he lost sight of him, and taking hold of his clothes, he tore them in half. 
he picked up the cloak of Elijah which had fallen and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. He took the cloak of Elijah and struck the water. Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah, he cried. He struck the water and it divided to right and left and Elisha crossed over. The word of the Lord. Take your heart, take, let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. Let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you, that you show to those who trust you in the sight of men. Let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plotting of men. You keep them safe within your tent from disputing tongues. Let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his saints. He guards his faithful, but the Lord will repay to the full those who act with pride. Let your heart take courage, all who hope in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Let the message of Christ in all its richness find a home with you. Through him give thanks to God the Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Be careful not to parade your good deeds before men to attract their attention. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they've had their reward, but when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. <clears throat> your almsgiving must be secret, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. that They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, Go to your private room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you fast, do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let men know they are fasting. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast... Put oil on your head and wash your faith, face so that no one will know you are fasting except your Father who sees all that is done in secret and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. So you, you might you obviously recognize this scripture. It's the one that's read on, on Ash Wednesday. We always read this scripture on Ash Wednesday. I'll just make a brief point, then I'm going to read you something. Um, for all of these three uh, Chris Catholic Christian practices of prayer, the, uh, praying every day, uh, fast, have t having times of fasting during the week, particularly Wednesdays and Fridays, and also, uh, and also um, the third one, which is almsgiving, of doing this throughout the year of uh, praying for the poor and the hungry, the needy, and uh, those, those you know, who were persecuted, and also doing what we can to help them, uh, and, and that w including providing material means for them, i.e., you know, food or drink, money, uh, clothing, etc. And we do it all with great humility. Uh, I'll our, was it, our right hand should not know, or our left hand should know what should not know what our right hand is doing. Uh, we we not uh, we want to do it uh, in secret so that the only one that knows is God, who will give us our reward in heaven. And uh, we don't want to, uh, anyone to 
praise us or give us a, sl a slap on the back. Uh, we do it out of love for God and our neighbour. I'll just read you a good little reflection here on the two, two of these uh, practices, Christian practices of uh, a fasting and almsgiving. And it's, again, it's by Bishop Robert Barron. Friends, in today's gospel, Jesus prescribes the essential disciplines of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Let's focus on fasting and almsgiving. The, the, the appetites for food and drink are so pressing, so elemental, that, and, and this is the purpose of fasting. We go hungry and thirsty so that the deepest hunger and thirst might be felt. In a way, in a way fast, fasting is like the calming of the monkey mind, and which is affected by the rosary, saying the rosary helps that, helps overcome that. But both, both, are means of, both are means of settling the superficial mind that darts from one preoccupation to another. But, but food, and, food and drink are not the only objects of concupiscent or disordered, of disordered desire. M uh, material things and wealth are also ready, su ready substitutes for the passion for God. So material things and wealth are also ready substitutes for the passion for God. Th thus, thus, a kind of fasting from what money can buy is an important practice. How, how often Jesus recommends that his disciples give to the poor, and how often throughout the Christian tradition has almsgiving, be em has almsgiving been emphasized. Let us, let us pray. Lord, we pray that you will strengthen us today through your grace in this Mass, in those essential Christian practices of, of daily prayer, uh, fasting and almsgiving. Lord, hear us. And help us, Lord, to do all these things with, 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 hu with humility, knowing that you alone uh, uh, will see what we do. Lord, hear us. We continue to pray for peace in the Ukraine, for an end to this terrible war, for the protection of all those, peop all those people now in those towns, cities, villages that are being attacked and under uh, bombardment or under occupation. Lord, hear us. We pray for the First Holy Communion uh, and children and the confirmation candidates who will be receiving these sacraments, celebrating them on Sunday and on Monday evening. We pray for God's blessing and protection on them and their families. And we pray that everything goes well and that they are uh, in God's grace when they receive these sacraments. Lord, hear us. We pray now for, for, for the central mass intention, which is the, the sick and the dying. We remember all those on our parish sick list, and uh, we pray for Kenneth Baker, and anybody else now that we, c we want to call to mind in prayer. Lord, hear us. We give all these prayers now to our Heavenly Mother, Mary, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, with great trust in your love and mercy, we make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And 
if I don't tell you now, I'll probably forget. To, if you're going to say the Sacred Heart Novena, it, it begins today. Uh, the, the Novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Um, uh, and obviously the feast day will be in uh, nine days' time. Uh, so if you want to say it, then uh, today is the day to begin it. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. when we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. my love, my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, savour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Patrick, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, my, my peace, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Name be 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. With the communion antiphon. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus. I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <coughs> 